Welcome to Tamale Time, where we talk, teach, and taste everything tamale. Today we are at the Rosemary Beach Farmer's Market. I am your host, JR. As you can see here, uh, the market is absolutely gorgeous with tons of awesome things. Uh, Rosemary Beach is located in uh, the Panhandle of Florida, and this is one of the best markets, um, uh, I believe, in the area. Uh, to tell you the truth, this is where Tamale Time started. This is where it all began. So folks, come along with me on this next leg of our Tamale Time adventure. Um, it's Tamale Time, folks. Let's go. To the market. Free samples today. So free, I won't even take your credit card information. It's Tamale Time. At least that's what the sign says. Let's taste this and it's so good. Oh, so you've already, oh yeah, you tasted some. Is this the beef? That's the pork one. It's the number one seller. Okay, that's what I want. That's the only flavor my grandmother made. So okay. let's get you some of those. Welcome to It's Tamale Time. Fruits and vegetables. I do have them frozen by the dozen. Yes, have you bought these from me before? No. They are, they're actually vegan, but I call them Ruth's. Uh, can we get a dozen of the smoked brisket? Absolutely. Have you, did you try a sample then? No. You want to try a sample? Sure, let's do it. The masa is still raw, so they do need to be steamed, or you can microwave my product. For how long? Two minutes of tamale wrapped in a paper towel. What about in the uh, steamer? The steamer? Uh, the full dozen, about 30 minutes, less time for less tamales. Okay. Very delicious, very awesome. Steam is always the best method. It's what I do uh, recommend for sure. I need a dozen for it. Absolutely. And we're good. Okay, here we have our sauce. Um, we have the chardwa here, which is our mildest offering. We also have the uh, salsa verde, our number one seller. And then el sriracha, pickled onions. And it goes mild, medium, spicy, oniony. Pork is my number one seller. It's the only flavor my grandmother made. That's who the lady is on the label. Is that cool with you? Try the pork. pork? Well, the lady on the label gets the credit, especially if you like them. It's my grandmother. Okay. If you don't like them, please give the credit to me and leave my grandmother out of it, okay. please. <laughs> don't need to cook them all. You take the desired amount out. Uh -huh. And then you steam fresh directly from frozen. That's the okay. beauty of my product. Most tamale makers, all the ones sold in the grocery store have been pre-cooked. And if you're microwaving that product when you get home, you're cooking your food three times and the nutritional value is out the window. Okay. So, um, we steam fresh, anything to elevate them over boiling water. But I do have this thing. The kids call it YouTube. It's a show starring me called It's Tamale Time. Can I show you how to build a steamer of stuff? Are you visiting us? We are. Cool. So any kitchen has all the stuff that I go okay. over in the video. Okay. Episode two shows you the cheats in case you don't want to. Hey everybody, that's going to be a wrap from It's Tamale Time here. Uh, episode four at It's Tamale Time. Uh, we are at the uh, Rosemary Beach Farmer's Market. Um, I'm stumbling over my words today because it has been so very busy. My brain has melted from the humidity. Um, but I really, really, really enjoy you guys coming along with us on our adventure today. Now, if you folks at home check out our next episode, it's going to be episode five where we introduce the restaurant. It's tamale time. Yeah, easy stuff to remember. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, um, see you next time at It's Tamale Time, and we are going to do some really cool stuff. Stay tuned. What time is it? It's tamale time. It's tamale time. It's tamale time. It's tamale time.